Hey guys, welcome to another video. So this video again is covering uh, using the unlocked uh, HTC One M8, uh, the Verizon one, on T-Mobile. T-Mobile launches this phone on the 11th of April, but for some people they want it unlocked, and you know that's perfectly fine. So they're going to Verizon and they're purchasing the phone, and that's fine. So I put up another video. I put up a video uh, earlier this week saying that it was unlocked, it's factory unlocked and you can get LTE, and I wasn't clear on that. So in this video, I'm gonna explain. So, as you can see at the top of here, I'm on 3G and it rotates back and forth between HSPA Plus. So I'm gonna show you this, this is my T-Mobile SIM card. Go down to about, and network. You see I have my T-Mobile SIM card in there, and it says 3G now, but I'm getting HSPA Plus. Um, Normally, see, there you go, it switched back and forth. So you can see there, well, not HSPA plus, but HSPA P, which is plus, yes. In any event, it works. So the problem that a lot of people are having, they're saying, oh my God, I can't send text messages. And, you know, you can't send text messages when you're in the LTE mode. Uh, but if you're in the, and pay attention to what I'm doing here. If I switch it over to LTE, It'll shut off and search again. And now you can see, boom, I'm on LTE, right? And I'm gonna do a speed test while this is on LTE. So you can see the difference from, that you get um, when you're on LTE and when you're on HSPA Plus. Now under this setting, you can't send text messages. You can't send picture messages. You can't send out anything like that, but you can surf the internet and you can get messages. Um, and that's it. But when you're when you're under the um, HSPA Plus side, you can do everything. You can just use it as normal. Now these speeds are low right now because I'm in a, I'm in a place where I don't get uh, the best signal and it's not real strong. But outside of my house in here, I get 30, 30 easily on T-Mobile. So there's a speed test under the HS uh, under the LTE one. So now I'm going to switch it back to the one that actually works full time, which is the GSM mode. Actually, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it on. Um, I need to turn it on uh, UMTS only. This is where I think I had it before, where I was getting, I was getting um, HSPA Plus and 3G. It's searching, it's going to switch, and it's going to go to uh, 3G and uh, HSPA+. Plus. So it'll find the signal, and it'll, it'll be good. In the meantime, I'm going to head over to the settings, go back to About, and Network. So T-Mobile, so it's on the 3G right now, but it should switch over to the um, HSPA plus side. It should. Well, let's go back. Let's go back and switch it. Because this is where I had it before when I started this video. So I'll, I'll do this. I'll do the dual and see if that helps it grab the 3G. But this phone, if you, in order to use it with, to send text messages and get full functionality out of the phone, uh, this Verizon version, there we go. So you can see now I have the H up there. I can send messages. I'm gonna step off for a second because I don't wanna give out anybody's information here. I'm gonna start a message and Actually, I'm going to just send a message. I'm just going to, I'm just going to send a message because I, I don't want to give out anyone's phone number here. So I send it here. 
you can see here, it's going to go through. So the message was sent. And then I'm going to send a message to, my, to this phone number. As you see, I can receive messages. So someone asked about calls. I didn't check that. Let me uh, let me go to six one one here. Welcome to star six one one on screen. So as you can see, when you try to make calls, this is what happens. There you go. So I've laid it all out for you. Under the HSPA Plus, you can send messages, you can receive messages. Now let's switch back to. Um, on the mobile data, let's switch back to global. Actually, I'm going to just change it to LTE. But I, you know, really, I don't understand why a person would want to um, get this, knowing this is what it does when you try to make a call. I don't understand why a person would want to have this device if it's not going to fully function like it should. I would suggest that all you people who went out and bought this device um, just to use on T-Mobile, return it. And just wait till it comes on T-Mobile on April 11th. Because uh, this is a Verizon um, phone, and it's meant for Verizon. Um, instead of going through all of that, just buy the one that goes with the network. It's trying to connect for some reason. All right, and that's all I have to say about that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.